If you ask most people where they think the first university was built, most people will think it was somewhere in Europe. If you ask them if a boy or a girl came up with the idea of a university, most will say it was a boy. But did you know the first university was actually founded by a young Muslim woman in Fes, Morocco? Her name was Fatima Al-Fihri. Fatima Al-Fihri was born in 880 in Qairawan, Tunisia. Her father was a very rich businessman. When Fatima Al-Fihri was a little girl, her father wanted her, her sister, and her brother to be well educated. So, they decided to move to Fes, Morocco since it was one of the most influential Muslim cities at that time and had a great education. Fatima Al-Fihri grew up with a good education and got married to a rich man. Everything in her life was perfect until one year her father, brother, and husband all died one by one. The three men left Fatima Al-Fihri and her sister with a lot of money. So, instead of wasting their time crying, Fatima Al-Fihri and her sister decided to make their community better with their money and make Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala happy. In their town, Muslims were growing day by day. So Fatima Al-Fihri's sister built the Al-Andalus Mosque. While Fatima Al-Fihri had something else in mind. She wanted to build a mosque, but she also wanted to build a center that would give higher education. This is how Fatima Al-Fihri came up with the idea of the first university. She decided that she would have a mosque and a university combined. And she decided to name it after her hometown and called it the Qarawiyin Mosque and University. So, in the Ramadan of 859, the construction of the first university began. Being a Muslim woman didn't stop Fatima Al-Fihri to be active and communicate in a modest way with the men that was working for this great project. Fatima Al-Fihri was very pious and wanted to please Allah. She decided that she would fast every single day until the whole building was completed. After two years of hard work, in 861, the first university was finally completed. Fatima Al-Fihri prayed inside the Qarawiyin Mosque, thanking Allah for helping her and asked Allah to bless the Qarawiyin Mosque and University. The university and mosque was a success and many leaders donated more money over the years to make the university bigger. Qarawiyin University welcomed people of all kinds and all religions. One of the most famous students at that university was the Jewish philosopher named Maimonides. The Christian Pope Sylvester II also went there for higher education. Qarawiyin University was like a bridge between Europe and the Muslim world. Fatima Al-Fihri's first university is proof that Islam treats women in a good way. The true Islam teaches us that boys and girls are all equal and they should be treated that way as well. In a recent 2017 study, it said that 130 million girls from all over the world could not go to school simply because they were girls. Fatima Al-Fihri showed us that even a religious woman can go to school 
and make a difference while still covering up and being modest. Don't be ashamed that you're Muslim. Be proud that you're Muslim. And in Islam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's first order to Muslim men and women is to be educated. Because with true educated people, we can make the world a better place. And that is how we once had a great Muslim golden age. And from that golden age, the Qarawiyin University still continues to this day. Fatima Al-Fihri came up with the idea of higher education and made the first university that changed our world forever. Next time when you see a university, remember that it's because of our great Muslim sister, Fatima Al-Fihri. May Allah give her the highest place in Jannah. Ameen. And also, if you have any other Muslim heroes or inventors, please let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe to our channel, and share this video with all of your friends and family. And until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.